Hello, it's Christine and I am here to talk to you about paddling your own boat. And yes, I am paddling my boat. I'm doing a one-handed paddle right now in the beautiful Comox Valley on Vancouver Island where I am so fortunate to live. So, let's talk. Let's talk about a really common thing that comes up when it comes to people wanting to paddle their own boat, right? So I use that metal metaphor for rather than blaming circumstances or blaming others or feeling shame yourself, how can you uh, work on your how, how you want to be, how you want to bring your wonderful self every day? What can you do to work on that? What would you like to do more of? What would you like to do less of? And then start practicing and incorporate into your, your own daily practice. So these are the kinds of things that I work with people on and people just inspire me. Um, one of the things that comes up really often is, um, well, is assertiveness. Is people saying, I wish I had said, I need to say something, but I'm afraid to. I don't want to say anything. Um, I'm afraid I'll get mad. I'm afraid my real feelings will burst out. I'm afraid it'll damage the, the relationship. I'm afraid of getting yelled at. I'm afraid of getting getting bowled over by the other person, of damaging the relationship. I'm afraid of not doing it well. Have you noticed what each of those statements starts with? I'm afraid. There's a lot of fear that comes with caring a lot and comes with wanting people to understand us. So fear of being misunderstood is huge. So assertiveness, if, if this resonates for you and you're thinking, yeah, you know what? I don't want to be aggressive and I don't want to be passive and I'm sometimes passive aggressive, then assertiveness is something really worth looking into. And I'm speaking from experience. Um, I was so afraid of hurting people's feelings. And then when I dug deeper, I actually was afraid of people not liking me if I spoke up or of coming across like other people who I had met or people I had known or, or grown up around who didn't know how to communicate in an assertive way. And so they would, things would burst out. Um, I didn't want to be like that. I didn't, it didn't feel safe for me to even let that, that anger or that frustration come out. And so I had assertiveness training uh, when I was 19 and, and started my journey because I didn't want to be that way anymore. I didn't want to cram it all inside and risk having it burst out or feel unhealthy because I was cramming a lot of feelings. I watched, I had a wonderful, um, one of my first managers was so clear and assertive. And what I learned from her is to say what you mean, make sure you mean what you say, and ask for what you need. So I encourage you to write those down. Those are principles. Say what you mean, mean what you say, and ask for what you need. It often takes fewer words. <laughs> I don't, you, you, you know, I hope I'm not alone in this, and I know I'm not from hearing from others. Oh, I would dance around a topic. I would say, oh, I really enjoy this about us working together, but there's this thing, but it's okay because, you know, we all have things and a thing's just a thing that we can work through, but maybe one time we could talk about the thing, but it's okay if you don't want to talk about the thing. And the person would leave the conversation going, that was about something and I don't know what. So I didn't say what I mean. I didn't mean what I was actually saying and I didn't ask for what I needed. So that, that's the essence of asserting yourself. When you think of, of um, passive and aggressive, think of two, um, uh, two poles. Let's say you're hanging out the laundry and you've got two poles. On one side of it is aggressive and one side is passive. And for yourself right now, think, where are you usually? Do you lean more towards aggressive or really far towards aggressive? When, when you have something that's really important that you need to say and you're feeling something around it? Or are you passive and go, that's okay, I'm going to let it just slip and it matters to me a lot, but I'm not going to say anything? Or do you sometimes do passive aggressive, which shows up, it, it's when when we really want to say something and it's, it's, you know, churning and churning and churning and it comes out as something like, oh, fine, I'll take the garbage. Oh, no, 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 I don't mind. It's not like I'm not the only one doing it around here. I'm fine, though, I'll take it. And 
we all have experienced that, I think, and a lot of us have, have behaved that way. And it's when something's really important to us and we just don't know how to say it. So I really encourage you to practice. I have a model called CHIRP that teaches people how to say what you mean, mean what you say, and ask for what you need. And I have them practice it first with emails. Um, if you have a trusted partner at work, um, or just a trusted friend even, that before you start trying to be assertive and just clear and say what you mean, mean what you say and ask for what you need, have someone review it and say, can you please check for me? Am I being too passive? Am I being too aggressive? Am I being passive aggressive? Am I being clear? I will tell you the more you do this, the more you paddle your own boat, the easier it will get. It doesn't guarantee someone else won't have whatever reaction they have. And I'm going to show you that reaction is theirs. I encourage you to use your body and go, that's their reaction. What's mine in it is that I spoke for what matters to me. Take a big breath. It takes courage. There's some wonderful resources online. Ultimately, what this is about is a skill to be developed. And then underneath the surface are some fears. I encourage you to explore what those fears are, um, figure out what your, what your courageous self is and, and how you want to be about this. And on behalf of the incredibly courageous clients who just inspire me every day, I want to tell you I believe in you. And uh, I have seen people who never thought they'd be able to be assertive actually end up being some of the most clear and most compassionate in, in how they assert themselves and ask for what they need. Happy paddling.